guys, welcome back to Tasmania TV. In today's video, I am doing a DIY or die project and I am making a holster bag and uh, I love it. This is like a budget version that you can make yourself. I'm making this out of recycled materials. Actually, I'm making it out of a skirt that I bought secondhand. So you can do this really cheap. You can use like a pair of old jeans that you don't want to wear anymore and turn the top of that into the two halves. And uh, yeah, there are a lot of cool ways you can do that. You can make your own straps from scratch if you want. I'm gonna be using purse straps that I found at a thrift store. So all the materials that I'm gonna be using are recycled, which is awesome. So yeah, that's what we're doing in today's video. If you have any questions or you feel like I missed something in the tutorial, let me know in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. And uh, yeah, with that said, let's get started. This is the skirt that I used as the main body of my holster bag pouches. It was purchased secondhand, but it's originally from Living Dead Souls, and it has a lot of pockets and other cool details that will make the bag more interesting. If the fabric you're using to make your bag is plain, you can always accessorize it yourself when it's done. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut the skirt into two halves and then round out the bottom, because solid square pouches doesn't look as good as rounded ones, in my opinion. The bottom hem with the grommets will be cut off and kept for later. For the straps, I'm not making my own this time. Instead, I'm using these two purse straps that I found at a thrift store. Make your own if you like, though. You get a custom fit that way. My two straps aren't identical, but that doesn't bother me. This bag will have so many details anyways. Once I flip the skirt inside out, I'm cutting it into two halves, and to make things easy on myself, I'm cutting on both sides of that middle zipper, completely cutting it off along with the fabric it is attached to, rather than opening the seam up and removing the zipper that way. I have enough fabric to afford cutting some of it off. I'm also cutting the middle back open, and the same thing here, cutting that detail off at the top along with the fabric strip it is attached to. Then I'm cutting the bottom hem with the grommets off, and as I cut, I am creating that curved edge. Placing the first pouch on top of the other and using it as a stencil to follow the same curve when I cut. The bottom that was cut off I will fold like so, using two of the grommets to hook the straps through. There will be two of these little hooks on each pouch, one on each end. But before we do anything with those, I'm gonna flip the pouches inside out and pin all along that curved side that we are then gonna sew closed. So I'll just sew all the way along that curved line, closing the pouch everywhere except for the top, which is the main opening. If your pouch material, like mine, has zippers and other metal details, be careful when you sew so that you don't break your needle on something. And if you need to, you can sew by hand. Now that my pouches are sewn, I'm going to pin the little hooks onto them. They will be placed on the sides, facing each other. Pin carefully as we're going through many layers at once here. As I sew these on, I'm going back and forth a couple of times to make sure it's sturdy and can stand some weight. After that, it's time to attach the straps. I want my pouches to sit over my ribs on each side, pretty much like under the boobs. I'm placing the straps across my shoulders as if they were suspenders, and then I'm attaching each front clasp of the strap to the front hook of the pouch. Then I'm crossing the two straps in the back of my neck so that they create an X, and then matching the opposite strap clasp to the opposite pouch hook. Once that is done, I'm adjusting the length of the straps so that the pouches land where I want them. 
To keep the X in the back in place, I'm using this belt clasp detail, pulling the backs of both straps through, locking them in place so that the straps don't move around. This will end up in the back of my neck once I wear the bag. And for the final step, I am using this black chain to secure the fit in the front as well, using the clasps of the straps to attach the chain and then taking the excess chain links off when I found the fit that I like. And voila, finished holster bag, completely made from stuff I already had at home. The X in the back is not perfect, but I don't think it has to be, it just needs to be secured, and it is. If you want the straps to have a perfect fit, you should make them from scratch. That is it for this video, hope you guys enjoyed this simple DIY. I really like taking existing materials and turning them into something new. This skirt was way too short for me, so I wouldn't have worn it as a skirt, and I'm just happy to have it recycled into something that I'm actually going to use. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and remember, do no harm, but take no shits. I'll see you next time.